So in front of me, I got the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450AW2 camera gear backpack. It's a really nice backpack. However, it has a, a flaw. And that is that if you stand it up, it will fall, especially when it's full. We have a camera on top here, the heaviest part. So in this video, I'm gonna address it. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven, and of course today we got the backpack from Low Pro. That's a Pro Tactic 450 AW2, and like I mentioned, has a flaw that it falls. And a lot of times you don't want to fall. I mean, ideally, you know, this is the area you want to have your back to keep it clean because that's something you're gonna put on your sh in your back. If the bag was falling in the opposite direction in the front, it would be much better. However, it's still not ideal. I mean, I ideally you want to be able to just leave your backpack the way it is. So first, let's get rid of the waist strap. So this is not my idea. I actually found this on Amazon Reviewer who actually did this. Um, I forget what his name is. I'll try to find out and put it in the description. Um, but what he did is actually added a pipe. So I went to the store and I purchased this. This is a half an inch aluminum rod. Uh, you can get a different materials, depends on how much you're willing to spend. You can get a carbon fiber rod, but they're quite expensive. You can get a steel, uh, which is cheaper. The thing is you don't want to add too much weight to it. So even though this is, I think I was around 14, 15 bucks, it's aluminum, it has a hole in it and it's about two feet. So technically you can use it for two bags. So here's what I'm planning to do. Right here in the bottom, uh, you have the handle, you have your rain cover, and you have those two uh, sort of like latches. I mean, not latches. I'm not sure what they're called. Anyway, uh, so with this rod, this is exactly half an inch outer diameter. Uh, so that's, I think, like 12.5 millimeter or something. I have it on screen. Uh, so what you want to do is get a rod that's, what, about this tall. We'll measure it roughly between 12 and 13 inches in length. And you know, this is half a uh, inch out of diameter. So if it's bigger, it won't fit. This is barely does. So here's a few things we can do and I'm gonna do try all of them just for you to see how I did it and see what makes more sense. So it's so tight fit with half an inch, which is kind of perfect in a way. If you uh, put it in here and you cut it right at the edges, so in my case, that's exactly, or even slightly less, uh, 10 and a half inches, it will stay there. It's really hard for it to move. So all you gotta do is put the rod through it, cut it to the size, and you're done. The backpack is actually standing. It's not perfect just yet, um, but it's there. It's a lot better than it was previously, especially when you put weight on now, it's going to hold shape. And that's really mainly because, you know, the rain covers right in the bottom and it's attached. So you can't just have it disappear. So this way you kind of creating a level between the front, which is hard and the back. And this way it's more level. So when it's all the way through, what I'm going to do is cut half, uh, sort of like a small pieces so we can create end caps. So that gives it a little more, uh, stability and we're gonna need to of course paint this black at least it would match us uh, if you can find that pipe that's actually like carbon fiber will be black so match perfectly or if you find a aluminum rod that's painted so that will work it's a lot sturdier it will stay there versus if i take this out now look at that without it it just falls so let me cut it down. Because we were cutting, it created some sharp edges. We do not want any sharp edges. So I'm gonna take a Dremel and smooth the edges out. You probably wanna use uh, safety gargles. I just don't know where my are, so.
no longer sharp because we don't want anything sharp so one it won't cut the material and second since it's going to be on our back we don't want it to uh cut us it will fit it did before it will again all right so now because you can see here it's hiding and it's not away the backpack will stand and this is the one with uh what i just did is just adding that but we want to paint that black just so it fits better with the backpack otherwise it's gonna look like it's something there which doesn't look bad but here you go backpack stands so our half inch peg should actually fit around it now uh, this is gonna be really tight fit as you can see here this thing is stuck on it and when i force it onto it it's sitting right on, I uh, hope you can see it, uh, right on the edge. And one thing, because it's plastic, so it's not sharp. And once we paint it black, what's gonna happen is, it's gonna sit right on the edges and the caps are gonna prevent our bar from, from coming out. So it's gonna be there, fairly solid. Uh, I still have some room on each side, so it's gonna be a little more tighter than that. Uh, but in case we ever need to take off the, the rod, we can just take off the caps and we're all set. So the only thing left now is to take the rods off and paint them. It's getting hot in here because the AC is off because it's in the way. Next, you want to take some sandpaper. And let's make sure I'm getting the right rod. No, this is too long. This is my shorter pieces. And you want to go through it make it rough because otherwise the paint will not stick to it so send it well so this way by using the sandpaper and sending it down we're going to be etching the aluminum so the way uh, the paint has uh, something to stick to uh, alternatively you want to use sandpaper you can use, uh, I believe it's called self etching primer that you would spray on it and supposedly it works. I'm not sure, never used it. So as you can see, hopefully this one's smooth, not smooth. So we got those two ready. And of course we want to do the same thing to their pecs. Now that we have sanded all the pieces, last thing to do would be to clean it again with alcohol. This way it will remove all the dust from our parts and that way we can spray paint it so I got the two rods right here also the plexi and the small caps here I got a regular Krylon color master paint and primary one about black paint and I just put that on the rod so that way I can lift it off the ground and I can paint it uh, a lot faster instead of waiting for it to completely dry uh, you want to take it easy with painting, you will require a couple coats, so don't go crazy over spraying because otherwise you're going to create leaks, this is not going to look too good. Okay, so for the last step, we're gonna do our last coat right now. Uh, but this time we don't want the paint to dry too much uh, because we wanna apply the clear coat, top coat, and this will protect from the paint to uh, rub off against clothes or anything else. So that way we can seal it in and we don't have to worry about, you know, our clothes or whatever or anything else, scratching the paint and getting on our clothes or our hands or anything else. So since this is about eight to 10 minutes dry time, so we're gonna give it about, after our final spray, about three minutes, and then we're gonna put our clear coat so that way it sticks properly to the paint. So it has been around three, four minutes. Now I'm gonna apply the clear coat to it. Uh, the only downside with this clear coat, it's about 20 minute dry time to touch and more to cure, so. Uh, but applying more than one coat is going to be a little difficult. It will actually just take more time, but more time is more difficult. 
I guess. So they're done. Once the clear coat dries, it should become more shiny. Uh, but of course, for that, we need at least an hour to fully cure. So we're gonna leave it here and let's get back inside. All right, so we got our final products. We got our caps that have been painted. They have been sealed with our clear coats. Same thing extra just in case, um, which probably won't need that on the side. So here are the two tubes. And I did like, give an extra coat just so it's nice and sealed. But overall, you know, it still needs time to cure. I um, mean, the, the curing for the clear coat is about 24 hours. Um, and I only give it about two. So let me show you how it looks like with the small one first. So you can be judge of which way you want to go. And also on the turn of the if you don't want to paint it, you can use something like a, a, some kind of tape and something like a cushion tape that you use on a tennis rackets or bicycles. So I'm gonna have to repaint this one because I didn't let it cure for 24 hours like it, I'm supposed to. It's only been two hours and I kind of started rubbing off the clear coats, which you can see here. But this one, we're gonna let it cure, of course, with the end caps. So uh, my suggestion is just use it, you know, get a half an inch because it's really a tight fit. Uh, and just put it in there and it should be secure. It's not really gonna fall out or anything like that if you use the exactly half an inch uh, rod. Uh, but if you want to stick it out a little more, perhaps for better sport, you can use the end caps, even though really I don't think it's not necessary. But those are the options. So let me give you a close-up of how it looks like. This is what it's standing. And of course, don't mind that it's uh, there's a uh, clear coat that's coming off. I will have to repaint it because, you know, you do have to give it time to cure properly, which I didn't. So I hope this was at least some more useful. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See, it doesn't fall anymore.